It is good to be back in Southern California. Look at this perfect, beautiful blue. And I cannot believe how green things are. You know, I mean, you spend two weeks in, well, Colorado is pretty, pretty beautiful. That feels like months ago. But since I've been here, I, I don't know if it's rained or not. It's about to rain for a, a little couple, couple days, which is annoying. But wow, green and there were birds chirping last night and the mountains are green and there's flowers coming up. It's fantastic. Anyways, I've got a PPI. That clock is wrong. It's 1218. A PPI at one o'clock today on a Alpine White 03 M5. I've got a guy coming by at four. I have three customer cars I've got to figure out. It is an insane day. I got about half unpacked last night. I've got a long way to go. Um, I haven't eaten since Flipside yesterday in Hudson. I'm starving. I'm going to race through Panera, be as quick as I can, and get up to the shop. So the carbon black car, we pulled the Brembo's off of it. Um, there goes my PPI on his way out. Gorgeous, gorgeous late 2003 Alpine white on full leather caramel. Um, but we took the Brembo's off this car, put stock brakes back on, got the brakes bled. They are spongy as hell. So something's going on if there's a if there's a leak or a loose fitting, or uh, we weren't able to get the brake the brakes bled right. But we'll figure it out. So the PPI is done. Um, I've got to put it on paper now, and here goes the next hour. This is also the Z3 shifter in here, so it's about half again as short as the 545i, which pretty much just means it's really hard to get in gear when it's cold. And of course it's BMW, so it still has loads of play, even with fresh bushings. Okay, who are you? It's a white, Alpine white 40. Does it have M bumpers? Sure do. I want to talk about the steering wheel, which has a couple of interesting items on it. Starting left, you can see there's a little arrow over there. That would be the left turn signal. And indeed, the left and right turn signals are shows that it is wider than the 65 of 100. But that also shows for facts in this car. You don't see that in a lot of other vehicles. Next up, another interesting item in the interior is on the ceiling, and that would be the rear view mirror. You can see it is just incredibly small. It is also the usual oval shape of everything else. But if it is you'll get from basically any vehicle, I promise you that your Honda CRV <laughs> does not open up like this. No, it does not. not. Back inside for the final quirks and features, and those would be in the infotainment system. Now, as you might expect, Pagani doesn't exactly have some crazy infotainment system. This car is mostly about driving, and there are kind of small boutique manufacturers. But there are two rather interesting quirks in this infotainment system. One.